Hey everybody, this is Brian Pex. I've got a video tutorial here on creating luminosity mask in Photoshop. All right, first things first, uh, I would suggest, all right, let me show you something here. Most people probably have, or a lot of people have, their channels and layers maybe in the same panel or on the same side. I would suggest dragging it outside the channels panel, holding it like that against the side, and then releasing. That way you have it in a separate area. And that's a, that you're really going to want that when working with luminosity masks so you can see all the different masks quickly. All right, here we go. First of all, you're going to command click on the RGB channel, and that's going to activate these marching ants, as you can see, around the image, throughout the image. What it's signifying is the brighter pixels in the image, and you can see that by going down to this icon and creating your first selection or channel. And it's going to say it's the uh, save channel as selection. I'm, I'm sorry, save selection as channel icon, and that will show you this right here, alpha one. And as you can see, the brighter parts of the image are shown as either white or light gray. And the darker parts of the image are shown as black or darker gray. What's great about these selections are they are based on tone. You have 0 through 255. 0 being pure black, which might be over here in this tree. Probably not, but close to it and then pure white would be the brightest of the bright which would be 255 okay but those numbers don't really mean anything right now so let's just continue now what you're going to want to do is intersect this selection with itself by holding down command option and shift or on a windows pc control alt shift and you'll see that little X near the hand that's on the channel. Click. And now what that just did was intersected the selection. We're going to want to go to this icon down here again. Save selection as channel and press. And as you can see, the selection has changed. Again, we're going to want to intersect. Command, Option, Shift. Click. Create. A new channel from the selection icon and we're going to keep doing that a couple more times oops and one more time okay now what we have here is alpha one which is the first bright selection or lights whatever you want to call them of the uh, luminosity selections and we can go down in there each more restrict each one's more restrictive than the, than the next selecting less and less of the image whereas when we get down to alpha channel 5 only the very brightest areas of the image are chosen okay now we have to create our darks mask and how we're going to do that we're going to go up to rgb once again command click Go down to this icon, and we now have Alpha 6. Now, maybe you're paying close attention, and you'll notice that Alpha 6 and Alpha 1 were made exactly the same way. So how can one be bright and one be for darks? That would be a great question, and I'm going to show you right now why or how alpha six becomes a uh, dark selection first of all i'm going to command d to deselect or control d and then i'm going to hit command i to invert and what that did it took alpha one and inverted it so now the darker areas of the image are now the brightest parts of the channels over here as you can see for example the back of this chair, very dark. This tree inside this the uh, this evergreen bush over here, very dark. And that's showing as highly selected in the channel. All right. Now we're going to continue. We're going to 
command click on this alpha 6 channel and then now once again we're going to intersect by holding the, that same key combination of command option shift click go down to the save selection icon as you can see now only the darker pixels are really being selected and the brighter ones are almost not selected at all we're going to intersect again with command option shift click back to this icon and we'll do that two more times intersecting the mask with itself and one more time okay and there we have it now as you can see the brightest parts of the image are completely gone and only the very very darkest parts of the image are shown as selected here indicated by the light gray to mid gray or white okay now that we have 10 separate channels five brights and five darks we need to make the important mid-tone selections okay now to make the mid-tone selections go to your RGB channel command A or control A to select the entire image go to alpha 1 or your brightest or your first bright selection and hit command option to get that minus sign this will subtract alpha 1 do the same thing for the first dark selection subtract and you will get this box warning you that no pixels are more than 50 percent selected the selection edges will not be visible that's fine hit ok we're going to go down here and now create our first midtones selection as you can see not very bright not very dark just the midtones are selected here the brightest areas right here the sun and the darkest areas the fringe of this tree and the back of this chair are not selected because they're black showing you that only mid-tones are be are selected here all right we're going to continue and make a few more of these channels before we're done here again command a on the rgb channel and subtract now we're going to go and subtract alpha 2 which is the second bright channel and alpha 7 which is the second dark channel and we are now going to have alpha 12 which is another midtone channel but as you can see there are actually pixels selected now because you can see the marching ant pixels selected 50 percent or more Whereas with this selection, oops, nothing is selecting 50% or more, as you can see here. All right, continuing on, we'll do this three more times. Command A to select the entire image. Subtract alpha three with the third level of brights and subtract 10. I'm sorry, eight. Whoa, I jumped ahead there. And again select all on the RGB and now we're going to subtract 4 and 9 and finally subtracting 5 and 10 oops and we get our final alpha channel I'm going to hit con command D or control D and we now have five brights five darks and five midtones
And here is where, oops, I don't want to drag that. Here is where, oops, I put those out of order there by mistake. Okay, there we go. Here is where you would want to rename these channels. And I will quickly just add names. M, uh, light 1, light 2, light 3, light 4, 5, dark 1, dark 2, dark 3, dark 4, dark 5, mid 1, mid 2, mid 3, mid 4, mid 5, and that's it. And that is how luminosity channels are created. Hopefully this explains a few things about luminosity masks and how they're made. And I thank you for watching.